Today we're gonna to take a quick look at how to eliminate choices from Google Forms. And this could be used in lots of things everywhere from like a field day where you wanna limit activities that students can do, to even setting up times for parents to have calls with you or other things uh, of that nature where you need to have choices eliminated automatically. Uh, to do this, what you're gonna do is go up to new and then go to more and select Google Forms, which will open up a new tab. You can either type your questions out first or you can wait till later. Either way is totally fine. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enable the plugin first and then I'll type my questions. So I'm gonna go up to this little drop down up here where it says more and then go to add-ons. Should be the very last option. Once I'm in add-ons, I'll have a whole bunch of options that show up here or I can go to search. In this case, Choice Eliminator 2 pops up for me, um, but you can also just search Choice Eliminator 2 and it'll pop up. It doesn't have the greatest ratings and I'll get into that in a second, but for most purposes, it's a totally fine application. So if you haven't installed it, all you have to do is hover over it and hit install or free. Uh, mine's already installed, so I'd hit manage. Then I'm gonna go back in and start looking at the text here. I'm just gonna do an example question and I'm gonna say, which activity would you like to do? Once I have that selected, I can go through and add all the choices that I'd like to do. I can either do it as a multiple choice, I can do check boxes or drop down. Choice Eliminator 2 recommends doing a drop down because of how Google processes this, but for my purposes, multiple choice is just easier. It's faster and easier to go, and I'll get into that in just a second. So once I have all of my choices selected there, I'm ready to go, and again, it's in a multiple choice format. I'm gonna go up to the add-ons area, which is a little puzzle piece, and select that, and go to Choice Eliminator 2. It will pop up a new option, and I just need to go to configure. Once configure's been selected, I'll get this note from the author, which you can read later. Uh, but basically it says that because of how Google processes submissions with the new Google Forms, uh, it takes a second or two to process, which means that if you have a bunch of students submitting something at the same time, it will not automatically remove choices if somebody submits the same thing within that two second window. So what I like to do is I like to add a little bit of buffer. So I'll artificially lower the number of students that can submit to a certain choice. And then that gives me a little bit of buffer. But if you're doing something like uh, parent conferences where they're trying to reserve times, it may not be an issue at all. So down here where it says choice linear two, I'm gonna select the question I'd like, and I do want to eliminate choices. So I'll go ahead and select that. And it's gonna go through and start creating the forms and necessary things that it needs to do for that. Once it's done, go to the settings gear and you'll get a new window that will pop up where you'll be able to set what the limit of the choices are and even have the count there. So you can actually go through and limit exactly how many there are. There always has to be one more than what shows up over here for the choice to actually show up. So once I'm happy with that, I just want them to all have one choice right now. I'll close out of there. It automatically saves and I can close this. At this point, I can send it and I'm just gonna copy the link so I can do a quick preview of it and make sure it's working. Now that I have the working form up, uh, what activity would I like to do? Well, I'm gonna choose hockey and I'll submit it. Now, if I was another student, I went back into that same form and I wanted to submit another response. Hockey's no longer there. So it's a great way to eliminate choices. If we go back in the choice eliminator, I can see that I do have one response. And when I go in to configure the options and have the choices, hockey has one count and one selection. So it no longer shows because the numbers are equal. If for any reason I made a mistake and I need to reset everything, I can go down to this little option. I can either close it out. I can restore all the choices. I can get questions from the form or I can even add choices if I need to. And just one final word of caution, if you have students submitting this, like I mentioned earlier, and there's a bunch of people submitting things at the same time, it may not process. I'll go through an example of what that looks like right now. So I'll go to basketball, submit, and very quickly, I'm gonna go to submit another response. You see that basketball is still there. So I'm gonna submit it again. And I can go back. It's eliminated at this point, but when I go back to my actual form, I have three responses and two of them happen to be basketball. So that's a problem, but Again, if you give a little bit of a buffer space, I usually give about five extra spots for each one. Uh, you don't have that problem. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to help you out.